Hi, my name is Ludas Butkus and in this video I will go through the process of advertising on Facebook. To start an ad, go to facebook.com slash advertising and you will land on this page. Scroll to the side and click the button create an ad. Once you're here you will see different types of ads that you can run. Uh, the first one is page post engagement. This is when you have a fan page you can promote a specific post. Page likes is to generate likes for your fan page. Clicks to website is to get clicks to any website that you want to promote. This one I'm not really sure what it does, not really important. These two is if you're advertising your applications. Uh, event responses is of course if you want to advertise your event and offer claims is when you want to advertise an offer, a free gift you're giving away, a bonus, etc. Mainly you want to focus on these three. If you're not building a fan page then only on this one, clicks to website. All of these are pretty much similar only with a few changes here and there so I'm only going to go for one of these. So let's start with it. Clicks to website. For example, we want to advertise our website and for example purposes let's use google.com. Once it loads, you will need to create the advertisement. Here you will need to upload images that you want to use to promote your website. You can upload images by clicking upload image. Next, here you can see that you can advertise either on newsfeed, which is very expensive, and on right column. Though newsfeed has a very high click through rate, so it can also bring very good results. Now, you will need to write a headline. One quick tip, and here you can use all caps letters uh, to draw more attention to your ad. And here we have 19 characters of text that you can use. Okay, next there's the audience targeting options. The first one is to target a custom audience. This can be a list of emails uh, or a list of Facebook user IDs. This is to target people uh, that are of a very specific interest though this is pretty advanced option next there is uh, targeting by location you can choose countries uh, for example United States and in United States you can go even narrow uh, like states, province, city or even zip code next there is targeting by age by gender then there are interests you can target people by specific interests, entertainment, games, action games, etc. And you can find all kinds of different interests or you can type them in yourself. You can go pretty specific with this targeting option. Then there are some options that are probably only used by people who are advertising in dating niche then you can advertise to people by language for example you can choose a lot of countries here that speak multiple languages and if you want to target only people that speak English you would just type in English and you would only advertise to people that speak English then there's education uh, workplaces more categories these are extra options that you might necessarily want to use. Then you might not see this. This is because I haven't ran an ad with this account. So you would want to choose the currency by which you want to pay for the advertising. Then there is campaign and budget. You want to choose your, a good name for the advertisement to keep everything organized. Then you can choose the budget either per day or lifetime budget. If you choose lifetime budget, uh, you will need to pay, I think, like at least $50 to start an advertisement. So I recommend using per day. 
then you can schedule your ad or run it continuously until you decide to stop it if you want to schedule you choose the start and end dates and then lastly there is the bidding and pricing you can bid for clicks or for impressions uh, if you bid for impressions you will pay a certain amount of money uh, that you bid for 1000 impressions and your advertisement will be shown to people 1000 times and then you will pay the amount that you bid uh, if you bid like one dollar it doesn't necessarily mean that you will spend one dollar it be like it can be like 10 cents 20 cents and up to one dollar if the competition is very high though it usually doesn't spend that much and if you bid for clicks you only spend money when someone clicks your ad uh, it can be shown for thousands and thousands of times but if no one clicks you don't pay though if no one is ever clicking your ads uh, your cost per click is going to increase again you choose a bid you can go for a dollar or even more but you might not necessarily spend that dollar if uh, you it can as well be 10 cents 20 30 50 cents uh, up to a dollar it just means that you're willing to pay a dollar per click uh, though if the competition is low you won't pay that much you can also click to automatically optimize your bid to get more clicks and then uh, this means that all the work is being done by the Facebook algorithm that tries to get you the most clicks which can be good in some in some ways though it might uh, make your campaign very costly so these are all the options once you have everything set up click review order and buy your advertising so this is it for this video hope it was helpful if you would like more internet marketing tips then click the link in the description of this video and sign up to my daily newsletter see you in the next video